basics of the kidney transplantation. The kidney transplantation steps we can discuss through the, the patient, the recipient and the donor. I have to undergo through the four important process. The first is the basic investigation. the recipient and the donor the recipient is the CKD patient the basic investigation to see the general fitness of the recipient and the donor the second will be the immunological workup that is the HLA after the basic investigation and the immunological workup only the patient can go ahead for the third and the fourth step the third step is getting the clearance from the various department like cardiology chest physician for the fitness for surgery and the legal clearance the government also have to give permission for the transplantation and the final step is after acquiring these four steps for both the recipient and the donor few procedure just prior to the transplant some immunological work have have to be done this is the basic for any renal transplant program. And then now we will see about the details of the basic investigation. What are the immunological workup? What are the clearances to be done? I will show you here. This is the transplant program that is being followed in our hospital. First is the recipient details. Name, age and the sex, diagnosis, CKD, and since how long he is on dialysis, that is important, and viral marker, which is also very important, blood group. In our hospital, the viral marker and blood group investigation have to be done from our hospital. Only those reports will be accepted. And once we come to the basic investigations of the recipient, first is the hemogram. The recipient's cutoff for surgery is hemoglobin have to be more than 8. If it is less than 8, the patient is not fit for surgery. Platelet usually more than 1.5 lakh should be there. Other basic investigations, urea, creatinine, sodium, potassium, calcium, phosphorus. Patient should not be hypothyroid because hypothyroid endocrinology people will not give the clearance for surgery we have to make sure patient is having normal thyroid profile if it is not it have to be treated prior to the surgery IPTH blood sugar HbA1c diabetes is not a contraindication for a recipient lipid profile LFT total protein these are the basic investigation which are required urine routine microscopy urine culture if patient is passing urine then these investigations are required if it is not if the patient is unuric no need for this investigation urine culture just to rule out any urinary tract infection prior to the transplantation because patient will be getting complete immunosuppression prior to the transplant so if urine urinary tract infection is present so that will cause complications so that's why this urine culture is important then 24 hour urine protein this will give the clue about the basic disease viral marker this cmv igm and igg levels this will help to decide on the post transplant cmv profile access how much to give how long to give dose that and all we will decide based upon this so this is required so coming to the radiological investigation, pap smear, I will come, ECG, echo, chest x-ray, x-ray KUV to look for any stones, if patient is a female, mammography, ultrasound abdomen, in this usually echo is important because anesthetist will be looking at the ejection fraction and the cardiovascular status to look for the fitness for the surgery. And the other important investigation is the iliofemoral Doppler.
since the patient graft kidney will be kept over the right iliac fossa connected to the external iliac vein this investigation is very important to look for the suitability of the vessels and these are all till here are the basic investigation basically is nothing but cbc kft lft the one important investigation is cmv igm and igg if this basic investigations are done that completes the workup for the recipient basic investigation these are all the immunological workup immunological workup basically we will be doing hla match for the donor and the recipient so recipient hla will be done along with at the base this can be done at any time and baseline cdc will be done cd is cdc is nothing but complement dependent cytotoxic mediated destruction that is nothing but the immunological workup this have to be negative because if it is positive for t cell that is the absolute contraindication for the transplant so the next step is of no use because here it itself the patient is getting the donor is getting absolutely rejected so once we have to get the hla and the cdc done this is the immunological workup at the beginning level then third is the clearance so what are the departments we have to get the clearance if it is a female recipient gynecological clearance cardio surgery psychiatric clearance is very important because they will assess the uh, mental condition of the patient because they have to handle the post transplant immunosuppressive drugs so that is why mental status of the patient is very important other than this four five is the urology clearance six is the chest physician clearance so six department clearance are important prior to the surgery once everything is done government approval is required government approval there are separate transplant coordinator they will make sure the legal clearances given by the government but for the donation of the kidney from the donor primary psc is nothing but anesthetist clearance anesthesia department will give clearance after seeing the basic investigations and these six department clearance initially they will give primary psc secondary psc is nothing but one day prior to the surgery they will reassess the patient and they will give the final clearance one day prior to the surgery so this completes the basic investigation immunological workup clearance and the government approval in immunological workup wise we have seen only the hla the cost of hla is in government setup is around 18000 even in aims if they want to do from private center it ranges from 24000 to 30000 and the baseline cdc baseline cdc is required because if t cell is positive that indicate like uh, immunological workup we will see separately but the basic is hla and cdc will be done at the preliminary level third step and fourth step is complete for the recipient now we will see the donor basic investigation and when can a donor can be rejected so this is the donor checklist of our hospital first is the name is there any age contraindication as yes, usually more than 60 years we won't prefer to take the kidney less than 60 is, is preferred more than 18 years or the patient have to be a adult so less than 60 more than 80 viral marker is required blood group is required and relation and patient is the like this is the donor and is there any age cut off for the recipient usually no but if the recipient age is more than 60 usually we avoid because transplant will not going to give much benefit this will be is a relative uh, relative contraindication the patient and the patient attenders can decide upon 
so coming to the donor's basic investigation it is similar to the recipient investigation first is the complete blood count hemoglobin for the donor is more than 10 if it is less than 10 clearance won't be given patient have to be evaluated for anemia platelet have to be more than 1 lakh regarding the donor urea creatinine should be normal sodium potassium electrolytes thyroid is also very important without normal value they won't give the clearance this is also very very important investigation for a donor because diabetes is a contraindication diabetes with the end organ damage so patient is having a hba1c of more than 6.5 it is from the basic investigation we will get the approximate clue this donor will be of un, will won't be accepted because usually a diabetic patient will be having end organ damage so we have to proceed with fundus and 2d eco and all if, if a patient is a pre-diabetic again endocrinal clearance is required lipid profile to look for dyslipidemia lft to look for any liver dysfunction total protein albumin urine my protein microscopy to rule out any protein urea protein urea should not be there urine culture to rule out uti 24 hour urine protein this is also very very important investigation because if it is more than 150 milligram the donor itself is coming in the renal disease category so we have to find out the etiology then only we can proceed ahead with uh, further evaluation of the donor urine protein creatinine ratio to supplement this 24 hour urine protein value then viral markers other important investigations are again cmv igm and igg this is required because to decide on the profile axis for the recipient on the post transplant period then ECG echo there should not be left ventricular hypertrophy because that indicates there is a sign of end organ damage secondary to hypertension or diabetes chest x-ray x-ray KUV to look for any renal stones if it is a female mammography is required ultrasound abdomen to look for the kidney size in the donor these important investigations are very very important even a mild derangement makes the donor unfit for the renal donation here Doppler is not required only CT angiography is required in the recipient Doppler is required no need for CT angiography CT angiography to look for number of vessel sometimes aberrant vessel might be present to look for number of artery vein which one to uh, it will mainly help the surgeon to decide which kidney to uh, procure for the donation so this is very very important investigation other checklist investigation in the donor is the DTPA. This is the important, very, very important checklist investigation in the donor. Usually, we have to check both the total and the differential GFR, that is, right kidney and the right left kidney what is the gfr of both the kidney this usually being done from aims or from outside center the charge for this investigation approximately is around 4000 rupees in aims they might be doing around 1000 rupees for example if a donor is having a gfr of 88 they should give both the kidney gfr separately So, if the GFR is more than 70, then only donor is eligible for donation in our center. Various centers will be having various cutoff, but the cutoff range usually from 70 to 75. Below 70, usually donor is unaccept unacceptable because they themselves is coming under low GFR category. So, till here. completes the basic investigation workup of the donor coming to the next immunological workup for the donor this and all we will see separately because immunological workup is itself a very detailed topic so in since we are seeing only the overview 
regarding the immunological workup we will see only the cdc and the hle of the donor that will be done simultaneously along with the recipient if cd is neg cdc is negative for t cell that means they can proceed ahead HLA whether matches there matches not there nothing to worry only the baseline CDC should be negative then again coming to the clearance similar to the recipient if patient is a female gynecology clearance along with pap smear is required cardio psychiatry surgery urology and pulmonology six clearance is required then finally anesthesia clearance and the one day prior to the surgery secondary anesthesia clearance and the legal clearance that is common for recipient and the donor so this completes the third step for the donor first step is basic investigation second is the immunological workup third is the clearance part and the legal clearance so once this is done patient is fit for transplantation so this is the recipient basic investigation immunological workup clearances and legal clearances similarly in donor basic investigation immunological workup clearances once both are complete they are fit for transplant surgery just one week prior to the surgery immunological workup cdc and flow cross match will be repeated and they should have adequate blood donors to recruit for the blood these are the final steps and regarding the abo incompatible transplant and what are the cdc and flow what are the contraindication we will see in a separate video so so this is in gross summary about transplant program i have discussed it with respect 